hey my friends so yesterday we talked about creating a successful five-day Facebook challenge right so a five-day we talked about what are the different things that you need to, to get into what are the things that you'll need before you can actually do your challenge what do you need cover photo um the description of the the, the challenge the, the list of the five days and today we're going to talk about how to get people to that challenge as I as I said in the in yesterday's episode I just didn't have enough time to go through the whole thing today we're going to talk about getting people to the challenge what do you need um uh, maybe you need an email list maybe you need a capture page maybe you need uh, to have conversations we're going to talk about those things and I'm going to put in place things for me for my group and we're going to do that so but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so as part of your challenge you are wanting to accomplish something at the end you want to have results for your members for your attendees for the people that are in the challenge and you also want to have something to offer them right so what do you need to keep track of all that what do you need to make sure or how do you get people well actually yeah what we're going to talk about today is how to get people in that group what are the things you can do to get more and more people in that group now I've done a lot of different challenges I've done the different ways um so we're going to talk about the, the different things that you can do to grow the number of people that are actually going to be in your challenge all right so uh, before we get into that I want to make sure you know if you're listening to the audio of this there is a video in the blog post you can go find it at a cis a 323.jsgagnon.com go check it out go there to uh, get the video and uh, the blog post because the audio obviously is missing some of that because I do share my screen and show you different things so let's go uh, talking about speaking of which let's go share the screen all right so you're on Facebook right you have a you you're you're on Facebook you've got people on there um I mean uh, obviously people that you if you're doing a Facebook challenge right if you're doing a Facebook challenge you are going to be having people in Facebook so you know you got to be posting got to be looking at things you got to be you know um uh you, well that's one thing you got to be using Facebook so for me let's just first first start with that right first you got to start with talking about your challenge like for me what I've done is I'm going to have a challenge starting March 1st so that's in just a few weeks obviously the the further away you are from the date that you're actually going to do it because that is one of the goals one of the things you got to do is you got to decide on a date and just you know start talking about it and you don't want to be just talking about that obviously but um one of the things is the discussion so for me if I go to my page or you'll see I've been starting to post a little bit here and there about that because I do post about all sorts of different other things um and I like as you know I post every day um some uh some uh, episodes right so um let me just see so right here so here is my first post I did right on the actual challenge that I'm going to be hosting right so imagine your own software business it's possible I can show you how March 1st just ask right so now I'm getting a couple of comments a couple of people I got 20 comments in there people commenting on that and if I can get more then obviously um that'd be better but the thing is that you got to be posting different little things then you can have conversation like for example uh well like Jason here is saying dude that's so cool your own software business would be awesome so I just reply to him I say hey would you like to hear would you like to know because you know if they I didn't say in here you know comment info or things like that right I just said just ask which isn't direct but at the same time you want to be careful to not be just posting stuff to you know like as you can see I'm sharing things from from other leaders I'm posting things that have to do with my daily episodes so there's it you know different things you gotta your your timeline can't just be about your thing because people will not respond to that right um okay so the other thing is that you so you have a group let's go to the group that's another uh, groups if I go to the group itself that I created right uh chrome social pros master program no uh, where is it 
Uh, I forget what I called it I got so many groups right uh is it down here no that's the other groups uh let's search for it um oh there it is there it is chrome extension business five-day challenge so that group there is the group I just created I only have two people in there so far but they're people that are not even right I don't have anybody in there so um I'm building that right now so I could just invite people to this if I wanted right you could do that right you could do that but I don't I don't really recommend that going through here and inviting people right because they get so many connections and everything you really want to have a conversation with people now the next thing is do you want to just you know just have the group right just the group and have people join your group only you, probably not now there's a couple of things you can do you can add some questions to that why is it not uh it's not loading up the 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 configuration or anything like that right let's see maybe I reload the page it's kind of weird it's as if it doesn't think I'm the owner oh there you go so all those are there now okay so oh yeah two members yeah so the you can have you can have pending group questions you can add ask questions right here that would be one thing I I haven't done it yet because uh, this group is, is st I'm still working on it but you could add questions and you can say right uh so first of all the questions you want to have in there uh first of all you want to have um required oh uh, what would you what what is your first first you want to ask a question right your number one question number one question about having your own software business well actually let's instead of a question let's say your number one um fear or blah or struggle <coughs> struggle not struggle a struggle so that'd be the first question right so it's going to be required so in other words if they don't if they don't if they don't answer that that they're basically you're telling them that if they don't answer that they're not going to be in the group right I'm going to save that now I'm going to add another one uh membership create another one I'm going to make it again a uh, well let's just make it a checkbox this one do you uh, agree so this group this group is strictly no spam or self promotion do you agree to abide by the rules right so we'll just do that that's fine an option would be yes and that's it there's I guess we could say no <laughs> but so save that uh now I'm going to add another question strictly strictly required strictly required uh what is your email we will use it to notify you of uh, to send you reminders to send you reminders and notify you of other interesting um offers related to this topic related to related to building your software business right okay so this will be a written answer and uh, I don't know maybe the text has to be different but basically you end up with a uh, with three questions I think that's the most you can you can't have more than three and and of course you know they have to say yes to uh, to uh, agree by the rules why would you allow them in the group right so that's one thing so that's your questions right so your questions uh, then the thing is that you can grab these answers now the thing you have to realize is with Facebook once you approve somebody in a group you can no longer go see what answers they had in their questions so you gotta grab those uh, and there's tools and uh, actually 
I'm actually going to eventually set that up but there's an, a plugin I I have that I haven't installed yet that I need to use that allows me to just grab emails automatically from group members and approve them right um based on their based on certain rules right so that's so that's the group okay so the group itself you want to make sure that there's these uh questions in here that there's this um, you know there's other things and invite friends at color code or whatever okay so that's all done what's why is it saying three or four I'll create a post I haven't done a post yet that's fine I don't need to do a post just yet okay so now the next thing is you're going to want to have an email list that is for these members right so I'm going to actually go in here I actually have a list that I called chrome extension bonus which is a little different than what I what this is about so let's just create a new list in Aweber I'm just going to create a new list the reason why you want this list is because you want to be able to identify people that were in that group specifically and you want to be able to send them uh, emails about the group about the days of the challenge and things like that right so I'm going to just create a new list it's going to be called the same as the group right so chrome extension the chrome extension business challenge so chrome extension okay so this just just the next thing here chrome extension business five day challenge okay whoops okay five day that's fun so um this list is about how to start your own successful chrome extension business 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 in five days as well as mm, the next steps okay and then I'm just going to make that like this approve message and create list okay that's fine so I've just got the list now and uh that list there is going to be um people I'm going to add them to that list so now I have the list I should probably go into messages uh go in here so I'm going to just create a message oh actually I'm going to go in the campaigns I want to use campaigns because they're a lot more um so I'm just going to create a brand new campaign just make it a blank campaign so welcome create the campaign where is that just just close that okay unsubscribe I want to do an unsubscribe and then I want to send the message and I want to create a message I'm just going to create a message welcome to the five day chrome business challenge so that's going to be the topic so welcome to the five day chrome business challenge ah, okay so hi I'm so excited to have you join us the challenge starts starts March 1st in the Facebook group in the Facebook group uh which you should already be in but if not go ahead and request to be added okay so now let's just go here make this the link this is the group right here actually I should probably be using uh I actually have the DNS here there's a you can you can put links but you can also have like for me I have a chrome uh, chrome social pros I actually have the group in here I believe five days right here so it'll be five day dot so that way if I ever change the group I don't have to change my emails or anything like that I just come come right here and change the group to here right that's that's the reason why having dns url redirects is better so this would be the link whoops this would be the link to it Right over here okay and then it's five day so I just go go to Chrome software business five day challenge group here okay uh software let's just do that I'm just going to put that in here uh put the link here 
uh there you go and it's going to be http and it's going to be five day dot and it's not http there you go and then there you go okay so now that's the link uh whoops got not got go to okay um and then let's add an image let's put an image right here put that in there upload an image I'm going to use the same image I have what is this one oh that's the comment grabber thing all oh, right okay um my where did where did I put that is that in here no I don't even know if I created a I don't I have Facebook challenges and stuff I don't even remember if I created a hmm maybe I did put it in here under 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 Chrome extensions this is comment grabber no that's not it this is just some uh, I think I just did I just put it in the last uh, episode I should put it in a separate folder right this one here did I put it in here yeah I did it's right here okay so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back in here under Facebook challenges Facebook five day leads let's create a new folder call it Facebook uh, five day challenge challenge five day let's just say chrome business business so I'm going to put stuff in there right I want to have a folder where I'm going to save the the things that I'm using so I'm going to put that in here I'm paste that here because I copied it and then I'm actually going to use that there you go so that's just going to be the image I'm putting in here as well and I'm going to make that the same link let's edit this make this the same link it's actually supposed to be http all right there you go let's just get that out of there and add some more text I'll I'll be sending you emails um when we get closer to the challenge to remind you for now for now make sure you add a reminder in your calendar calendar for March 1st the first live will whoops the first live will be at so it's 8 p.m so 7 p.m eastern there we go okay so save and exit I'll just do that like that for now I can always edit it and change it but I needed this email to be something so then I'm going to just that's all I'm going to do just like that and I'm gonna da -da -da, I'm gonna make this activate and there we go okay so if somebody subscribes to this list they're going to get this welcome email for the chrome five-day chrome business challenge right okay so now I've got my email list I've got my my group created and I've got my email entered in my list now you could you you really should have multiple emails actually emails that introduce you to the to the people that join the list right you want to have um uh, soap opera sequence or that kind of stuff so I'm gonna have to work on that but um but that's the basic you need that then you need to have some place where they can go to actually register to get this email and to be on the list right so instead of sending people directly to the group right instead of sending them directly to the group you want to send them to a funnel page that's going to capture their e their name and email right so if I go like this and I go in and in, in, in click funnels I can actually create let's just go back I'm gonna this is just a, fu a funnel I created let's go back and go to funnels I'm actually going to create a new funnel for this and doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, funnels doo -doo -doo -doo. well I'll actually build a new funnel there it is sorry okay so I'm just going to create a new funnel 
do 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 I want to collect emails right or sell my product what do I want to do right I can create a custom funnel I'm just going to go like this I'm going to call this chrome so your own chrome extension business busyness busyness I have so much trouble with that word business five day challenge actually free let's just call it free challenge free five-day challenge to your own let's just do that put that in here put that there to your to your own okay this is just fine just build the funnel free five-day challenge to your own chrome extension business okay and that's going to be the funnel so the first thing I want is I want an opt-in right I want a page that's going to allow me to put that uh page in there mm -mm -mm. where's the where's the where's the I just want a simple one but I also want it to have an image maybe maybe this one let's use that one big blur opt-in okay let's use this one and in the background I'm going to put the image so edit the page in the background I'm going to put the image from that so where do I have that over here um, mm -mm. let's go into my Facebook doo -doo -doo -doo. Facebook five-day Chrome business there it is so oh actually I, let's go actually I need to get that that image the original image I have it in here in my old one uh it's actually whoops let's scroll all the way down it's actually in two doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's is it here no it's not this one I think it's the previous one no maybe the previous one that's the thing I should have saved that someplace else I think it's this one there it is okay so copy this file and I just want to go back to the five-day challenge thing Facebook here I'm going to paste it here okay so now I have the original file um from here I can probably well I don't know that's a pretty high res picture right this one here so it's it's actually not too too bad right 1.4 anyways let's just uh, replace this background image change that upload this image here is what I want right there and upload that to there so I just want to have the same thing right it's a theme I guess I, I don't know if it's a great the best image but let's just do that and then use this one right here there we go so now close that okay oh why is it not whoopsie do background position oh it's got to be blurred I have to blur it myself I thought it was a uh, part of the theme okay anyways whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be blurred that's fine okay so over here I don't need the logo I don't want the logo delete the logo yep and then I want to have you can have your own software business starting a simple sim whoops with a simple simple chrome extension and then over here we're going to say even if you have no programming 
experience or you've never and you've never hired anyone before um you, you have no idea no ideas for and you even if you have no ideas no program experience or you've never hired anyone before all right so join us for a free five day Facebook challenge challenge right where uh, after which you'll have a business you'll have your own business started okay so uh, send me my report no I want to join the list it's not send me my report what I want here is so join challenge now okay and we start March 1st 2021 okay and then there we go so that's it that's all let's change that to 2021 and there we go okay so now I'm going to save that but I need integration integrations I want to add the Aweber form right uh, add to add to list and then I'm going to go and say do, 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 com. is that where is that is that pronounced there you go that's the one here so from cf let's just do that okay um connected there you go okay so save that all right so now I have a form that I can actually send people to now if I go back to do, 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 general uh on submit go to on submit go to no what I want to do is do, 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 do. search engines my favorite bears okay okay so what I want to what I want to do is there's no pop-up there's no pop-up have your own software business starting with a simple Chrome extension let's put that you can your own multi-million multi-million oops and you your own multi-million software business starting okay let's just take that out of there your own multi-million software business um even if you have no ideas no program experience or you've never hired anyone before join us for a free five-day Facebook challenge to learn how uh let's just change that over here I want this to be to learn how you can find a great idea idea hire a programmer for as little as 100 and start selling your software right away okay so join us on his front no 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 there you go um so enter your email 
and click the button to be to get link to free challenge okay to get link to free challenge okay so there you go so you're going to get the link so save that now the next thing is I probably should have a thank you page so that anyways that's done let's go over to my uh go over to my da -da 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 -da. exit here so now the inside this page I have the default the the the, the opt-in page it doesn't do anything right now I probably should um I should probably should create a new uh step in there which would be just a thank you page right um but for now it doesn't do anything so I could probably I could change this settings little step settings get click bar pop code okay click that code at the Facebook connect your page inside of your Facebook page okay that's not what I want oh right there it is final step name is opt-in path is join challenge okay so there you go join challenge so it'll be join challenge right there so it'll be just like this and then this would be um the uh, the funnel right so over here I'm going to just put that in here let's just call this join and there you go so free let's just say free five day five day because the five days the group right so I probably want to anyways whatever that's fine so I'm just going to do that so now that means that whenever somebody goes to free five day dot chrome social pros.com they're going to end up going to this uh this page to join the challenge right so now I'm going to be able to send this link to people this join let's go in here new incognito window I can go to so can you go to join uh, what did I call it the free five day dot chrome social pros dot com right is that what I got yeah that's the one okay chrome social pros dot com free five day dot chrome social pros dot com now you can actually go there and join the join that too and just see how the process is all working you can actually come here you can put your name in here Jean Serge Gagnon JSG at just my test email here Jean Serge uh, let's just say Jean Serge let's call this test let's see what happens okay so it's showing challenge now and I click that it's not going to do anything right it's it should at least tell me thank you or something which I didn't didn't fix but now uh if I go into my camp in, into my subscribers in this particular list now you're going to see no not yet um I'm not sure I thought that was automatic but maybe not maybe I have to go through my emails first I'm not sure but uh but yeah so so now you have a group you have an email list you have a funnel page and it's all tied together into your dns I know it's a lot of stuff it's a lot it's complicated a little bit to get the, this whole thing right but that's kind of that's kind of what um you got to do if you want to make sure that you have uh, you keep track of things and you're able to reach out and because you know having just a Facebook group is going to limit you so you really want to have this uh, this level of of integration all right so if you have any questions always just go ahead and comment or or send me a message and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time.